here is the armature after cutting the remaining uh, papers and uh, after wedging it wedging the papers inside them uh, you can see so this is the metal is exposed now this will be on the field winding the field it will uh, it is ready to rotate inside the field winding but one step is remaining which is the insulation or the varnishing of the windings uh, the varnishing is important uh, to keep these windings as you can see these windings are loose now then you can wiggle it very easily and over here these wedges also can come off while it is rotating at uh, some very high uh, rpm something 6000 to 12000 rpm while it will rotate so these wedges can come off these windings can come off and they can come apart which will be a very bad situation and uh, this will be useless if it will happen so for the purpose what we are using is here you can see this is not a product of uh, coffee before it was but now it's not it's uh, inside there is varnish insulating varnish so what we will have to do is we will have to keep uh, the bearings from the uh, one uh, from this uh, product uh, varnish and uh, insulation varnish and the rest of the thing the rest of the armature we will insulate with the help of this varnish and for the purpose what we can do is we can pour some quantity of varnish inside this uh, little small uh, pot just uh, like this and then uh, take a cotton swab this is uh, made uh, self-made because uh, I need a bigger one uh, the regular one is smaller so this one just a piece of uh, rag, rag I uh, put it on the piece of wood so here just I have to soak it in the varnish and just fill the varnish in inside the winding so carefully because uh, we are not going to uh, pour it on the bearings or uh, on the commutator even but uh, on these uh, commutator if it will go to the commutator it's not a problem we will scratch we will scratch it and we will remove it from and from here and just these cables are important to insulate so just uh, these cables I'm going to insulate uh, because uh, they should be insulated from each other uh, by this varnish but uh, for sure this should not go to the bearings if uh, the bearings were not there you can uh, soak the whole thing inside the varnish uh, there is a procedure people are doing like this so now you can see this uh, varnish is soaked inside these uh, laminations or wedges which we just put them inside inside the winding uh, inside the core so by this way they will be locked inside and they will not come off so enough quantity just I will pour don't worry for your hands this is easy to remove from the hands a gloves will be good but uh, at the moment I'm just about to complete this job I'm not taking care of gloves somebody commented on me yeah, this is not available in your area the gloves so they will be available somewhere in the market but who will go to the market at the moment in the night and will bring the gloves for this small job for me the important thing is to complete the job to accomplish the job not to make the calligraphy uh, some people are thinking to do the calligraphy so right now as you can see uh, this is almost filled in and from the front front side also I have to pour varnish in so the windings should be immersed very properly inside the varnish this is not one time actually just I will do one time and then uh, as we are going to make painting on uh, some surface we are going to coat by coat so uh, on this also uh, we can do it we can do it coat by coat so one coat while it will become uh, dry so then we can put another coat so this is the way we are just going to do it as you can see from here it's also not a problem I will scrap it later on with the help of uh, sandpaper or uh, scraper or blade whatever will be in my hand I can do it
so still the warning is soaking the varnish inside so here also it will be a little bit soaked inside so I'm putting more varnish on this side so more and more varnish I am putting on so that these wires everything will become solid with the varnish this is what is our purpose the video length is becoming more but this, this is important to show on camera uh, because sometimes one is not able to follow a single process procedure and then he is coming in trouble so that's what I don't want I'm about to give all the information regarding this one so now we are just going to put it inside and keep it for a little while to soak this varnish inside and then later on we will put another coat and coat by coat it will be for some four or five coats I will put on and then it will be solid there will be no worries no tension about the windings and this is a procedure just I explore everything in front of you here is our armature after uh, after varnishing and uh, insulating so here is this the outcome of uh, this thing as you can see now the windings are hard they cannot uh, move here and there as before they were so it's uh, commented also I cleaned I scrap it using a um, blade so now it's cleaned and you can see it's uh, shiny so what we will do is we have to press the fingers a little bit so that they should not come if any centrifugal force will come they should not come off the windings so it's okay now you can see they are pressed well and I uh, hope they will not come off uh, windings are winding ends they will not come off of these uh, commutator fingers uh, now is the time to fix this thing back so what we will do is we have to lubricate these bearings from the top because uh, the machine is sucking air and then that air is going through these bearings so the fine dust should not go inside the bearing they should not the bearing should not accumulate the dust inside otherwise they will ruin very soon and here is the grease any type of grease can do here is uh, one feg some bloody had been commented on my one of my video before uh, if this is a slang somewhere in some language this is not my fault entirely not my fault this is what is the german made grease you can see uh, in the german language some uh, name is feg so please don't comment like that that silly comments uh, are not accepted at all uh, here just i'm going to put the grease on on the top of the bearing inside there is enough lubrication which is from the company so here just uh, on the top of these bearings i'm just putting a little bit grease so that uh, the fine dust should not go inside this uh, grease will do as uh, not much as lubrication but it will do uh, much as a uh, sealant so it will act as a sealant just i'm putting a little quantity like this and the other end also i have to lubricate it some way like this and inside i cannot put it's okay whatever i could do, i could do i am doing that's it